Greetings and such disaster. Tis I, the ball around your neck staring into your soul's void, excuse of a terrestrial... I mean, greetings. Nice to see you. I am Count Vladimir Cat, ferocious feline cat buyer of Tritulania, sucker of teeth and supplier of cat nip across various dimensions. Not to mention, host of Castle Cat and soon to scare tales from the cat. Warning. The following video is not intended for children. It is only for adults only. So keep your kids off my YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello, you evil ghoulish bastards, and welcome to Horror Freaks. Episode 6. Episode 6? Yeah. Our special guest for this episode is Count Cat. Question 1. Is Count Cat from this planet? Am I from this planet? Well, that depends what planet you're on. What planet are we talking about? I am from Earth. Not the same Earth that you are used to. We're a little bit moved over to another dimension, about three dimensions, vibrations downward to the lower spectrum, then three to the left, six, six, six dimension, uh, up higher vibration, then we go diagonal, sort of kitty corner next to the earth dimension of third that you know. Question two. Do you believe in ghosts? Do I believe in ghosts? I can't say that I do believe in ghosts because that the gangster jeep ghost who roam around my castle he always complaining, he always booing, he always beeping over what has come and what has gone, what cannot be changed ruining my furniture with his ectoplasm still chugging 40 ounce after 40 ounce I do not expect any ghost, especially that one, to get their life together, so no, I don't really believe in ghosts. They have that chance at that time as Meow Gone. Question 3. What's the worst kill you have ever seen in a horror movie? The worst kill I have ever seen in a horror movie? Well, I don't know if you mean the worst as in the most gruesome, terrifying, disgusting, Bloody, gory, sexy, or if you mean like a lame, terrible type of kill. So, for more screen time, I shall answer both. The worst as far as gruesome, gory, disgusting, I've seen a lot of horror films. I've watched very, many, many ever since I was a little kitty cat, and I was high on catnip for a lot of it, so I don't really remember any film I watched. I suppose. I would have to say, those Saw films, I like the first one, and then they get really brutal, the razor wire. They're all terrible, and they suck. Not the kind of sucking I like to do. So, you know, they're bored for the most gruesome, bad, or violent death. Probably go somewhere in there, if not, maybe perhaps the Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses. Lots of good gory killings in there, or perhaps the remake of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. If we're talking about bad as in... Oh, and then another one that come to my feline mind. Bruce Campbell in, I believe, how not House of Wax, but Wax Works 2. Not one, but two. Is when Bruce Campbell all chained up in the dungeon, and he got his torso ripped open, and you see his rib cage, and all the blood coming out and, and, and you know, dog gory and groove, groovy ghoulies looking cool. And he's like, I just need some moisture, just a little bit of water. And then the character take uh, water to throw a splash on him, but it's actually vinegar. And he goes, ah, that hurt or whatever the fuck he's saying. That was pretty cringy as well. As far as burst, what come to my feline mind, as in, it could have been better. There's a lot of them in the old ones. Well, the first one is probably actually Dracula, because you don't even get to see him die in the original Bela Lugosi uh, film. He just... And then I was going to say, the Wolfman, 
he got these, he got these claws, he got these fangs, very sharp. You just want to see him rip people to shreds, devour them like a wolf. However, he get up to the girl, he just starts strangling her, choking her to death. Because that's all they could do, you know, to show gore and blood that was illegal back then, or so and so. Is there anything that you would like to advertise? Do you have any upcoming projects that you would like to mention? Any projects I'd like to mention? No, not really. Well, nothing much other than their Tales from the Cat, a Planet Nine film anthology coming out soon, this October. Hopefully, if Osh could get his computer and some arms to edit. But it, a horror anthology of gruesome gore. So look for that on uh, the spider web, the inter spider web. And of course, Death Cat Comics coming out with the, yours truly hosting a series of Chunky Freddy Pooper, uh, the Pumpkin Skull, as well as I forget the other one. Oh, the Booger Man, that's who it is. And they have contest meow. You can submit your shit, your snap, and uh, Jack Lantern carvings to be featured in these comics. And then you. In the return, win some of the comics, or CDs, or a coupon to a pizza place. And, you know, but other than that, there's not really anything. Oh, of course, horrible Halloween noises. The uh, Halloween Dead Cat album that just came out three years ago. It's pretty good. It's actually very good. It's actually so good, you should go buy ten copies. One on tape cassette, where you got to sign, BOO! Which have, like, sound effects of going to graveyards and castle cat and haunted houses and then decide ah which is a the side which actual actual noise punk rack songs and then you know other than that i don't think there's anything i need to be oh there's the t-shirts we got count cat t-shirts we got cat pirate t-shirts we got against the g ghost t-shirts and a lot of other cool we got spoofs of chunky we got the this we got that so check out the t-shirts on ww dot deathcat.us for the inter spider web but other than that uh, you can really do subscribe to the deathcat tv youtube your tube my tube this tube is your tube this tube is my tube and uh, we go through the tube vortex when you watch these episodes of castle cat down there if you don't live in pasadena then you can catch it on uh, public access television i guess television still exists there Grab a fucking, grab a fucking remote control! When your head bone connected from your neck bone, your neck bone connected from your shoulder bone, your shoulder bone connected from your What's the matter? Can I get your ghost, Bob? <laughs> I would like to say. Oh, I guess I was going to say thank you for having me haunt your television show or Interspider web show or whatever the fuck it is. Can I say is on television? <laughs> Time for cat now. And now, a moment with noodles. was a moment with Noodle. Thank you very much for watching Horror Freaks. Be sure to subscribe and click on that notification bell. We will be back same time next week, Tuesdays at 12 p.m. Don't miss out. <laughs>